What's up Crusaders? Welcome back to another episode of Arcade Crusade. Uh, in today's video we're just going to be diagnosing a small issue I ran into on Whitewater after I put everything back together. Um, been playing for a few days here and I ran into the check fuses issue and I'll go ahead and turn the game on. I was in the middle of going ahead and fixing this and realized I should probably shoot a quick video on it just to help some people out if they encounter it. But we'll wait for the ROM to load up. So you hear the ball search kicking in right now and you see the check fuses F114 and F115 message. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off so the ball search stops and I'll zoom in a little bit more, that should be good. And like I said, I was already in the middle of diagnosing this and when this happens, um, there's a couple things that can happen and I'll tell you what happened specifically to me. Um, but, so this happened, I grabbed my multimeter and I checked continuity to see if either of those fuses were bad. Uh, so F114 over on the right side of the power driver board, this bottom fuse right here, um, that was good. And if that blows, most of the time, the culprit are your two bridge rectifiers under this heat sink he here, uh, BR1 and BR2. If those go bad, they can blow F114. Um, and there's an entire pin wiki section dedicated just to this fuse error. So if you encounter it, uh, check there. I'll, I'll leave the link in the description of this video so you can go there. Um, but my issue was F115 was blowing for me and it's no longer blowing for me and I'll tell you why. Um, but I basically kind of rigged it so I could still get the message to show up. Uh, but what had happened, my Bigfoot target had shorted to the pop bumper coil right next to it. And when that happens, you're basically sending 70 volts to your 12 volt line and it's just going to shoot that right upstream. And the, the Bigfoot, the cabinet switch for that is on uh, one of these green wires. So it shoots up from J206 up to U20 here. Um, so like I said, I, I tested here, this fuse was bad, I put another fuse in, it blew again. So I'm like, all right, well, go from there. I found the issue under the play field, I got that sorted out, but my fuse was still blowing. Um, so what you can do, you kind of start by checking for your 12 volts on the power driver board. And you know, I had it, but um, one way to know if your issue is related to a shorted switch on the play field still, or if you have an issue with your MPU, if you pull J210, which is your power connector here on the MPU, if you pull this, turn the game on, and it doesn't blow, uh, and it doesn't blow F115, you will know that your issue blowing that fuse is related to something on this board. And the first thing that's going to take a hit when that fuse blows, U20 right here, it's a 2803, um, this IC will take the first hit and every time you short a switch to a coil, that's going to be the first thing that goes. Um, same thing will happen if you short a GI bulb to ground. Um, this will be, U20 will be the first thing that goes and that's why in later Williams boards they started socketing U20 right here. I actually had to desolder that chip and put a socket in. Um, so anyway, I desoldered it, put a socket in, put the board back in and I hooked everything back up and I turned the game on uh, with the chip out just out of the socket and it is not blowing F115 right now. So we know that chip is bad. Um, now, if I put it back in and it blows again, we could have a bad U14, which is a LS374 or one of our 339s, uh, U16, U17, U18, U19. Any of these 339s right here could be bad. And if those are bad, um, it could also be blowing that fuse. You know, we, we have to see what damage was hit when that switch shorted to our coil. So uh, hopefully now that the fuse isn't blowing and I only have U20 removed, when I put it in, hopefully this should to turn right back on. We should have no issues. So um, I ordered a bunch of sockets and a bunch of these ICs just to have on hand. Uh, it's a pretty common issue to come across. And like I said, on later 
WPC 95 games, they started socketing this chip, and even some of the later um, WPCS games, I think they started socketing it. Um, obviously, it wasn't socketed on Whitewater, so I had to pull the chip. Um, but right now, I'm just going to put the chip in its socket, and uh, we'll go from there. All right. Got it in its socket. It is in the correct way. This is a, I think an 18 pin IC. Like I said, it is a 2803. And if you follow the pin wiki, um, it basically suggests that that will be the first chip to go when this happens. So we got our new one in. We can go ahead and close this. And if we continue to have cabinet switch issues, because basically that chip controls your whole switch matrix. Um, so if we continue to have issues here, um, there's a chance another IC could have gotten taken out when that shorted. So we'll turn the game on right now. And let me grab the keys. No ball search, so that's a good sign. And that fuse didn't blow, so also a good sign. Let's go into, if the fuse blow, you would get that, that message again. So let's go ahead and go into test. And let's go to our switch matrix. Um, okay, always closed. These are our optos. Those are all optos. Whirlpool popper, whirlpool exit, lockups, yep, left ram main. And our troughs are activated because we have the balls in the game. Uh, so hopefully, let me turn it on and play a game. Uh, but now, hopefully, we should be good to go now that we replaced U20. So. Let me just try one quick ball here. We can let that go because we didn't hit a switch. Drain. All right, let's turn it off. Um, I'll walk you through it just one more time and I'll take the camera off the tripod just to show you exactly what I had to do to fix this. And like I said, I'll leave the pin wiki link in the description. So if you guys, this is a pretty common issue. Um, this is the reason, you know, TNT, Todd Tucky, um, this is the reason before they send games out they always socket that that switch matrix 2803 at u20 on the mpu so if you get this error first two things you want to check fuse f114 right here um if this is bad usually one of your two bridge rectifiers under this heat sink is bad if you need to swap that out you're going to need thermal compound because that heat sink has to come off those bridge rectifiers one of them's probably shorted to ground if that fuse is fine, you're looking at F115 right here, uh, right next to your J113 ribbing cable. Um, this was the fuse that was blowing for me. And um, the way to make sure, the way to know if you have a cabinet side issue or a MPU issue is this power connector right here at J210. You wanna pull this completely off turn your game on. Your game obviously won't boot because you don't have power at the MPU, but if this fuse blows, you know you have some sort of cabinet or cabinet switch short somewhere 
that's shorting the 12 volt line to ground. Uh, if you pull this, you know you have an issue somewhere in the MPU circuitry. And if you look at the traces here, the first chips that come off of your connectors here, uh, they go right up to U20, right on this J206, uh, and then also to these 339s right here. So one, two, three, four. You can see right here, that's, that's the uh, 2803 that I socketed. Uh, but these 339s can be taken out too. But this one, if it's not socketed, you'll need to socket it and then drop a new chip in. Now that we have a new chip in, it's fixed. Um, and also, like I said, U14 right here, this 374, this can get taken out. This is the first chip after U20. So if it does enough damage, it can go back to U14. Um, now these 74 ICs, any, any IC that starts with 74, uh, the internal circuitry can be tested with a diode test. So basically, uh, this is also on the uh, pin wiki and I can leave a link for that. But your red lead goes on uh, pin one, I think, or your black lead. And um, basically, you just go through, or pin 10 maybe, and you go through and you just check to make sure that you have about 0.4 to 0.7 resistance between all these pins here uh, with one lead staying on that same pin. And if you have continuity across any of those pins where you shouldn't have continuity, you know you have a bad IC. I tested this when I had the board out. I knew it was good. So that's good and my issue was all U20. That was blowing my F115. Uh, once I fixed the target um, so it wasn't shorting to the coil anymore and I swapped this out, it is now fixed. So just some basic troubleshooting. I was pretty much already had it all the way fixed and I knew U20 was gonna do it. Um, but if you pull U20 out of the socket, turn your game on, you can get that check fuses error to come up. So that's why uh, I pulled it out just to show you guys the error that I was getting and kind of what I went through to fix it. So now board's back in. Hopefully we shouldn't have that issue anymore. We can make sure that target's registering still. If it needs more adjustments, we'll mess with it just to make sure it's not too close to that coil. But um, yeah, I mean, it was just, just a quick one and I figured I should probably document it before uh, before I fix it. So. Yeah, I just wanted to show you guys what I was up to. Um, just a quick fix. If you run into this issue, let me know. I'll help you out with it. So thanks for watching, guys.